Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making a zucchini and artichoke pasta salad. Now this is a top tier vegetarian pasta salad that cooks up really quickly and it feeds a small family. This is an easy and impressive dish to make for dinner. So let's get started. All right, so to get things started, we're going to bring a large pot of water to boil while also adding one tablespoon's worth of salt into the water. And once the water is boiling, we wanna add in one cup of farfalet pasta, otherwise known as bow tie or butterfly pasta. And now give this a quick stir to make sure that none of the pasta sticks to each other. And you just wanna cook this according to package instructions until the pasta is cooked to al dente. At that point, you wanna drain and rinse the pasta once it's finished cooking. And while the pasta is boiling, we can prepare the rest of our ingredients. Starting off, we're gonna need one medium-sized zucchini that we're going to slice along the length as well as quarter those slices. We're also gonna need about half a cup's worth of Roma tomatoes that we're going to slice in half. We're also gonna need half a cup of artichoke hearts that have been drained and quartered. Now in a large frying pan set over medium heat or 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius, we wanna add in two tablespoons worth of olive oil, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of red chili flakes. Mix these ingredients together before we want to add in our diced artichoke hearts, the sliced Roma tomatoes, as well as the quartered zucchini. We want to saute these veggies until the zucchini is softened, and this should take about three to four minutes. Next, you want to season these vegetables with a thin sprinkling of salt and black pepper to taste. And once you've added that seasoning, you want to reduce the heat to low or 249 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius. We wanna add in our cooked pasta and give all these ingredients a good stir to make sure that all of them are well distributed. And in a separate pot with a drizzle of one tablespoon of olive oil, we wanna add in half a cup to one cup's worth of baby spinach and saute that until the spinach is wilted and reduced in size. Add the spinach to the rest of the pan Give this a quick stir until all the ingredients are reheated. And as a final touch, we wanna add on some shredded Asiago cheese. I like using about a quarter cup's worth of shredded cheese. After that final step, this salad is ready to be served and enjoyed. And just like that, you've made a zucchini and artichoke pasta salad right at home. This pairs really well with toasted ciabatta or focaccia bread. For a protein boost, add sliced grilled chicken or cooked shrimp to this salad. And if you wanna opt for fresh artichoke hearts, you wanna remove those tough outer leaves first, as well as the choke or the fuzzy part in the center before boiling them in salted water until they're tender. But myself, I like using canned artichoke hearts to skip that whole process. But be sure to tag me at Chef Vic Cuisine or hashtag Chef Vic Cuisine when you try this recipe at home so I can see your great take on this recipe and I'd love to share it on my page as well. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 3, Upgrading Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in my description box. And feel free to click the pop-up on your screen for more information on that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button for me. It really helps the channel out by boosting it in YouTube's algorithm so that more people can see this recipe. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Victor and welcome to Chef Vic Cuisine. It's my goal to release new recipes each and every week that you can make for yourself, your family, or your friends. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you click that subscribe button too. And sharing is caring, so if you enjoyed this recipe, and you think someone else will too, feel free to share this with all your family and friends.
Next week, I have something very special planned for you all. I wanted to release a blooper reel in celebration of the channel hitting 10,000 subscribers. So I hope you guys really enjoy that and get a good laugh out of it. Well, thanks again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. And I'll see you guys next week on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.